Okay, this is a video employing some of the ideas that we used on Twinkle Twinkle Little Star to Happy Birthday. We don't have to worry about, you know, chord changes and all this sort of thing with popular music because these two pieces are just so basic. <clears throat> okay, first of all, you must learn melodies by functions. I mentioned functions before because function seems to be a very ununderstandable un word. Function, look it up in the dictionary, it means position. Okay, in the C major scale, C is the first note of the C major scale. That's its position. And also that's its function. It functions as the first note of the C major scale. G functions as the fifth note of the C major scale, or the dominant as we call it. Tonic, dominant. Five notes down is the subdominant. Dominant always indicates five. Five up or five down. Okay? So, also, dominant, subdominant. One note under the dominant. Five notes down. Five notes down. Five notes up. You see what I mean? See I'm getting here? Five notes down from C down to F is the subdom, and C up to five is the dominant. So here we have it. Five notes up is the dominant, five notes down is the subdominant. Well, they happen to be adjacent to each other that way, if you think of them this way. That's okay. So dominant, subdominant. So dominant, subdominant, I'm a tonic. Subdominant, dominant. Very simple. Tonic, subdominant, dominant, tonic. Those chords should be practiced uh, from every white key and from every black key. If you don't know these chords, uh, you're very limited in what you can accomplish uh, because compositions will modulate from one key to another key, so this will be very helpful in, in future work. Plus the fact you should be able to transpose your pieces to other keys. But for right now, let's just stick with what we're doing, which is learning the piece, which is happy birthday. Okay, function. Starts on the dominant, five, one, two, three, four, five, that's its function, five. Five, five, six, five, eight, seven. Play it. Five, five, six, five, eight, seven. Very simple. Five, five, six, five, eight, seven. Okay, got that under your belt, so to speak, under your fingers, shall we say? Okay. Next phrase goes five, five, six, five, nine, eight. It's a step higher. Eight, seven, then nine, eight. All right, let's take those two little phrases. Five, five, six, five, eight, seven. Five, five, six, five, nine, eight. Okay. Not so bad. Five, 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 three, one. Here's your C major triad. Okay. That shouldn't be any difficult. Five, three, now you gotta cross over to seven, six. Five, three, one. One and eight are the same thing, so eight, if you want to, eight, seven, six. Okay. Now with your fourth finger, put it on the fourth note of the scale, because that then you can get the idea of your last few notes here. Four, four, three, one, two, one. So, five, three, one, cross over. I don't care what you want to cross over. Three, two, fine. Five, three, one, two. One. Whatever you cross over to, get your hand up and on the fourth note of the scale with a fourth finger. If you do fifth finger, it might be confusing. I don't know why, but sometimes the finger numbers as to the note functions seems to help a little bit. But of course you should be able to do it any finger at all. But at the very beginning, do it the way that's the easiest way to get the job accomplished. So, five, five, six, five, eight, seven. Five, five, six, five, nine, eight. Five, 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 three, one. Over, seven, six, lift your hand, fourth finger, four, four, three, one, two, one, okay. 
And you know something, it might be a good idea to do that in your left hand, just to keep the left hand busy. Five, five, six, five, eight, seven. Five, five, six, five, nine, eight. Five, 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 three, one. Pick up your hand, seven, six. Four, four, three, one, two, one. Obviously, you can't put a fourth finger on that fourth note because the hands are completely opposite. Thumbs on, thumb is on top, thumb is on bottom. So you got a little problem there, and that's why it's a good idea to practice it all in the left hand once you have the right hand uh, done. Okay, practice that. Play it over several, several, several times until you can do it. And also call off the functional numbers, five, five, six, five, eight, seven, and so on. Your next job. In uh, the uh, Twinkle Little Star we mentioned, arrangement of chords with the third on the bottom and the fourth on top. Well, I'll do the same thing with happy birthday. Your little finger's your melody. Five, five, six, five, nine, eight. Five, 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 three, one, seven, six. Four, four, three, one, two, one. If you want to add that, that's not hard. Find the dominant again. And many more. Okay. If you put the C with it, not a problem. Because this is part of the C chord. That's the fifth of the C chord. That's the seventh. That's the ninth. this it's a valid chord and in interesting how that finally resolves itself into a nice sounding understandable chord just as good old C major so you might try that just keep it on a C something more than just the C chord. Everything is C chord. There's your C major, C, and your, your major sixth above C. That's your C major with the ninth here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So every one of the notes that you've just played can be justified for the C major scale. Not a problem. Well, let's do something else. How about dominant? Whoa, we start off on a, on a, on a big win here. So we start nicely. We end up nicely. G is part of the C chord. Uh, 
So you could play the entire melody either on a, with, as a C, with a C bass, when there is an imply at least a C chord, or imply as a dominant. So whether you have this or this, it's all the same. Now you got the remember you the tonic, the dominant, the subdominant. Let's try everything on the subdominant. Improvising, getting around something that you don't, there's you finish, you finish it right here, well, go on up or down. Or take it on down. Now, can this be justified as an F chord? F, A, C, E, G, and C is the fifth. Perfectly good chord. But that way you didn't probably like it. But it's a perfectly good chord. This is the point though. Don't always look for something you are comfortable with, that you like, that you're familiar with. Now there is a C chord it should be with a C bass. An F chord should be with an F this chord. And G should be this. That's, that's tiresome. That's boring. That's something that you will never grow with. You are always looking for growth musically. You need to grow. You need to grow with your understandings. Things need to evolve. Things, you, you need to get used to sounds and pretty soon those sounds become meaningful. Just like in a language, you know, you're pronouncing an unfamiliar word and it's very difficult to pronounce and you're uncomfortable pronouncing it because you don't find that particular uh, mouth uh, organization, shall we say, for that particular sound. That's tough. Well, you just have to get used to it. So the same thing with music. Everything in music is a different language and you must get used to it. Well, now, your job is to play around with this tonic and dominant, and tonic and subdominant, or tonic and dominant, and tonic and subdominant. So dominant and subdominant. One, four, five. Well, okay. something else. Whoa. Now, that, that very little bit of improvisation, you're starting to learn the language of music by this simple song, Happy Birthday. You work with your, these chords, this is your sort of your standard thing. Now you want to find out what will fit what you're doing here and justify it somehow but you don't need to get used to the sound and get used to what you're doing well that's normal but could you some do something that's not normal Something fancy here. 
because I've done this before. But you see what I'm talking about? It's things work. And as you play these things, they start evolving. The sounds start becoming interesting. Okay, let's try that again. Okay. Let's start with F. Now, this is a nice chord here because it sounds like a G, B, D, F. Now, if I put this G here, you'll see it. G, B, D, F. something that's more interesting, something that's more modern, shall we say, something that's, that strikes the imagination. Ah, your sound is a different sound. Anything. Sometimes some sounds will just be your normal sound. Some sounds will not be. But your basic is one, four, and five. But if you feel as though something is pulling you to a certain direction, give it a try. This is called learning through improvisation. Have fun, that's all. <laughs> 